That's the power of the cameras of live people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I've just like heard about Megan Rapinoe's USA team getting denied their case about equal pay. What, what do you think about that? See, the thing is, right? If this was any other football team, I'd be like, fair enough, because I don't think they generate as much as men's football. But I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure US women's football team, they're more well-known than the men's. I think they bring because, in more revenue. Yeah, well I think, I think I so. So when it comes to men's football, the US ain't in the top 50 probably. I, I mean, I, I don't know the exact rankings where they're ranked, but they're not that good. And they, be, they barely make World Cups. They kind of like scrape and they don't really do well in World Cups. Whereas no, hold on, hold on, no, no. They, 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 in the last, except, I think they didn't get into the last one, but before that, they did get into consistently since 94. They got into the 94 World Cup, 2002 World Cup, 2006, 22. 2010 and I think 2014 so to be fair no they do get into a consistent stream of World Cups but they don't do amazingly they've never yeah, got into I mean. a quarters or semi-finals I don't think they don't get to like the final stages and stuff that whereas the women they win it or if they don't win it they get to the they get to the finals no, bro, they, they dominate like the they dominate they exactly dominate. exactly so I think they have a I think I think they, they have a right to to demand that I think if 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 you're talking about women's football in general, I personally would say no, just because of what they bring in. Because it at the end of the day, it all comes down to money. As much as people be like, oh, it's it's, it's the same thing people say about footballers. Our oh, footballers are overpaid, or blah blah blah. But well, footballers aren't they, overpaid. Footballers are paid on based on what they bring in as a whole. Exactly. So they, if they bring in billions, why shouldn't they be, why should why shouldn't they be paid a lot? Because without them. That wouldn't. Whereas I think if you talk about women's football in general, they bring a considerable amount less than the men's. So, but I think I I don't think that's fair necessarily. But I definitely think the US women do definitely have a case for getting paid more. They definitely, I they probably should get paid more than the men. The US men definitely. I don't know if they do. I think they do. But the thing is, here's the thing. So, okay, they're the best team in female team in the world. Yes. And I'm, I'm sh they want to get equal pay to the men, but I'm trying to, is that, are they saying equal pay to the men's American football, uh, football team? Or is that like as a general thing? Well, I think if it was brought to the US Supreme Court, it's probably more of a, of an American thing. So I don't think it's a, like a worldwide. But then, then what football. you'd have to compare is, which I'm sure they've done is comparing how much they've brought in in terms of revenue compared to the men's and then I'm guessing that's where the case will be whether it will be a success or f a failure and I'm guessing because the Supreme Court didn't pay much attention to it it must mean that the men's American football team no matter how good or bad they are just brings in higher revenue so yeah and then Megan Rap Rapinoe's was uh, saying something about the fact that she's, she won't give up on the fight another problem is right Megan Rapinoe is a very disliked character. So the, yeah. the fact that it, she is the head of this campaign is kind of hurting the image because, yeah, she's disliked. Because, like, again, I mean, I, I don't know much because I don't pay much attention to um, uh, to the individual characters in women's football. But a lot of the the vibe that you're getting off from people who do pay much attention to the women's football counterpart is the fact that she's very disliked and just an unlikable character. So perhaps if women's, um, uh, the American women's football team wanted success, they should probably look to get a figurehead who is a lot more likable. Uh, for example, Alex Morgan, who is the only female football that, that we you know. could think of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. No, I we met her, didn't we? Remember we Champions did. League final? Yeah. 2017. Yeah. yeah. But I think I think though that American sorry, American no women's football is making so much progress in the last couple of years. So they're doing something right. And I feel like in the last couple of years, for example, the last Women's World Cup, in terms of the progress they made was mega compared Absolutely. to the last World Cup. The last woman's World Cup was amazing. They're going in the right direction. I just feel like they they need to keep they need to keep with the right characters who people can get behind. And Megan Rapinoe is just not it. Mm, okay, so 
the last World Cup was probably the first women's World Cup I've actually watched through all the way to like the final and actually really enjoyed it. Which shows you, and I know that it was the most popular World Cup in history in terms of people watching it. And even the World Cup final, millions and millions of people tuned in to watch. I think there was also more more coverage on it this year. So every single game, I think I saw semi-finals. I saw just it was always on TV, just like the men's World Cup. So that was that helped. And I think if you help, if you give more coverage, people become more aware of it, and people will tune in. Because if the if the standard is good and it's enjoyable, there's no reason why watching women play football versus or watching men play football is going to be any different. If if you like football, you're going to enjoy what, no matter who who plays. It doesn't matter about the gender. So I think if they get more coverage, then it will keep on increasing. And then there'll be a case where they should be paid just as high as, as the men should be paid. 